Okay, at this point, we're going to do some needlework. Um, often I don't do any needlework until the border. But in this case, we have a nice area here and here lining up with these arrows. Like so. To put in needlework. And now is the time to do it instead of waiting till the end because otherwise we're going to put this pattern in next and that's going to interfere, fill in those spaces, interfere with our ability to put in these, this needlework. Now I start off measuring, going by experience, along the ojo. Uh, I'll try for I guess a little bit long rather than short, uh, and then make adjustments on the next one. If I'm too long, which I probably am. I've got two kinds of needles here: straight needle, which I usually use, and the hook needle. Which I'm experimenting with more. The hook needle allows you to go in and up all at the same time instead of this where we go down and up, which I'll be showing you in a moment. Now, very possibly I should have done this needlework before I put in this even because there's a up and down here which would make it awkward to use the hook needle. And the hook needle is the fastest way, no doubt. So I'm a, a long-term habit of using the straight needle. <clears throat> we will see how much I adjust in the long term to making uh, using the hook needle. I'm approximating the middle here. I'll take this kind of put up where I can see it, but out of the way. I'm doing a diamond pattern where I'm going to advance one strand of yarn at a time, but I start off going over two strands. If I go over one strand, it, that, that, that first bit of yarn tends to disappear on me. Back and forth, finding just where to poke through from the bottom comes, I don't know, comes with time. You can uh, put that needle in just the right spot. This is a rather small pattern, so I'm sure I took too long a piece of yarn. Good for demonstration purposes, though. This is a matter of getting the tension right, not pulling too tight. Uh, sometimes it's nice if the spacing got a little, little loose on your yarn, a little too big a gap between the rows of yarn. You can uh, this this can correct things. Helps have a nice bright light back. To our, go on where we go over two yarn, two two rows of yarn again. Very nice, even diamond, and well centered within this whole little space here. Of course, we want to look at the empty space. All this is equal. This is right lined up with these. If it's not, you know, we can move it again. Use that thumbnail, move it over a little bit. Now from the back side. We go underneath and through the pattern. That part might be a little bit harder with the hook needle, we'll see. And like I said, I estimated on the, whoa, what happened to my yarn there? Got a little uns started to come apart. Twist it back together. Cut that excess off. 
and try to make their yarn about that much shorter next time. And we tie these together. The square knot. Under, over, over, under. Cut that short. And we've started our needlework. Now I pulled it a little bit tight when I pulled the knot. So that last part, those over two pieces of yarn, got pulled into the design. Darn it. Doesn't look like it did nice before I tied the knot. So I will do my best to uh, make some corrections here with the little fingernails. Pull it back out again. Move it into, into place. Worst comes to worst. I would have to start all over again to get that, but it yeah, looks like I'm able to maneuver it into place. Not as perfect as if I had never pulled it in, but that will do pretty good. Now for up here, this is a considerably larger design pattern. I'm going to estimate two whole lengths of crop. Well, no, not quite that much. And maybe one and a half lengths of the Ojo stick. Just 24 inches, so we're talking uh, three feet, 36 inches of yarn here. Let's try the hook needle. These yarn needles are called yarn needles because they have really big eyes. You can get that yarn through there very easily. We'll make adjustments in the length, of course, as we go. And start off with a little bit here, and then we make adjustments as we go along. So, we're starting just looks like about three rows down from the top. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight points to the triangle. We start here, two the first time, and one more each time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. End up right there. We might even uh, make it bigger than that. And that other one. I think I'll start in the middle <clears throat> of this gold yarn. So we're going to go to the first time. Okay, I didn't do that right. Okay. We're going to start in the middle, so we start up here two, two from where we want the design to be. Get this locked into place. Down here underneath the two that's going to be, and up one more. You can uh, experiment with this. Figure it out pretty easily. Now we're going to go under those two that we just did. One, we're going to go one past where the last one ended. Back to the beginning. One past. Oops, got the hook pointed the wrong direction. Straighten it out. We're making our estimate that the middle is going to be about here, lined up with this. We may have to move it one way or the other <clears throat> when we get to the actual middle and see where it actually turns out. <clears throat> 